What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I know you have missed this. I'm in the car, and usually when I'm in the car, that means I'm going on a Blu-ray hunting trip, and that's exactly what's happening today. Now, I wanted to go on a Blu-ray hunting trip last week, but we got a blizzard. We actually got a foot of snow here where I live, so I definitely was not going outside to go Blu-ray hunting. So I said to myself, next week I have to go because it's been about a month since my last Blu-ray hunting trip. I think the last video that I filmed was my last trip to Best Buy. So it's been a little bit and I'm ready to get out and start searching. I think what I'm gonna do is every single month I'm probably gonna put out one video for a Blu-ray hunting trip, most likely the week with the most brand new releases. It just makes sense. Now last week there was a lot of brand new releases, but because I couldn't go out, we shifted it to this week. So what is actually coming out today? Well, we have Beverly Hills Cop Part 3 on 4K. Possibly that will be inside of Walmart today. There is Darkman on 4K, but I'm not really sure if Darkman is going to be in store. Probably not. But what I'm looking for today is The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, that 4K steelbook that is a Walmart exclusive. So that's what I'm looking for today. That came out last week, so... I'm really hoping that they have more steelbooks in stock. And I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Priscilla because I said I was gonna stream the movie first, but I forgot. I believe it's an A24 title. And if it is, I'm gonna try to pick that one up as well because I like to pick up the A24s. I have a nice little collection going and I wanna continue that. Especially with Priscilla, it looks like it's going to be a good movie anyway, so I won't have any worries. I don't think I'm going to have buyer's regret with Priscilla. So those are the two movies that I'm on the lookout for today. So we're going to go inside of Walmart. Like I said, it's been about a month since I've been here, so we're going to see what's brand new inside the store and see what brand new display that they have because Valentine's Day is over. So we'll see what they're showing off next. And are there any steel books? Probably not, but we got to go in and check it out. So I'm going to see what's inside of Walmart. If I'm satisfied and I pick up the things that I want, then I'm going to go home. If not, we're possibly going to go to Target. <laughs> Is Target now making a comeback? Possibly. We'll see. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. I have not sung this song in forever. We're going into Walmart, we're going into Walmart. In the new release section at Walmart, they do have The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, but unfortunately I'm not seeing the Walmart exclusive steelbook. Why would they have the Walmart exclusive steelbook at Walmart? <laughs> that just makes too much sense. So we do have, what is that, the regular 4K, Blu-ray right next to it, the 4K is $24.96, the Blu-ray is $19.96, also the DVD, all with the same cover. Kind of boring actually, all with the same cover. They do have the Steelbook for the Marvels at $39.96. I didn't expect to see that one to be honest, so I'm kind of surprised that it's here. The Blu-ray of the Marvels is still in stock for $24.96. Five Nights at Freddy's, the 4K, the Blu-ray, and the DVD are here. The Trolls Collection on DVD, Trolls World Tour and Band Together, Trolls Band Together on 4K. We have like this collector's pack. We also have a Blu-ray of Trolls Band Together for $22.96 and the DVD for $17.96. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny on DVD, rocking that DVD for $19.96. Expendables 4 is at the bottom, Blu-ray and DVD. Journey to Bethlehem is in the bottom corner. But you can actually stream that on Netflix if you're interested. They do have Oppenheimer 4K at the bottom. No slipcover though, but they do have the 4K in stock. Also one DVD copy, the holdovers on DVD, and finally Silent Night, <laughs> good old Silent Night on Blu-ray, and Thanksgiving. I just realized I skipped over Hypnotic and also Daryl Dixon, The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon Season 1. These are also here. So Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon Season 1 is on DVD only. 
but Hypnotic has the Blu-ray and also the DVD. I'm actually surprised that they do have the Blu-ray for that one, but they don't have Priscilla. They have no brand new releases for this week, obviously. They don't have Beverly Hills Cop 3 on 4K out. They don't have the Hunger Games steelbook that I was looking for, and they do not have Priscilla. So, hmm, I'm going to have to order the Hunger Games online, and do I dare just go to Target and see if they have Priscilla? That's the question. Do you see this, guys? Do you see this? Potentially, this is good news right here. So as you can see, this is the end cap that always has like the holiday releases and they still have Valentine's Day releases up, but they do have, this says right here, Steelbook, advertising for Steelbooks. So this could potentially be the new display for Steelbooks. They probably are running behind and they just haven't gotten around to it because these are all, as I said, Valentine's Day releases. They're still up, but possibly, maybe, the steelbooks are coming. It wouldn't be a trip to Walmart if we didn't see the tacky Walmart titles, and they've got some good ones. I've been looking around, and they do have some brand new ones that they're offering. So this first one, I don't think it's a tacky Walmart title, but it's called Your Lucky Day. I think I actually might have featured this in one of my last Blu-ray hunting videos, but I heard good things about the movie, so if you guys are interested in that one, it's on Blu-ray, and it actually has a slipcover, surprisingly enough. They do have A Creature with Stirring, but only on DVD. It does have a slipcover, though. They have the 10th anniversary of Sharknado, Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths, Part 1 on Blu-ray. That's a mouthful. What do we have here? The Canterville Ghost. Got a nice slip cover on that. We got some Sailor Moon and Monster High, if you guys are interested. We got some wrestling. We got the cage and the retirement plan. We have the Exorcist. Not the Exorcist, the Exorcist, because that S makes all the difference. This is a terrifying true story based on a terrifying true story could all be yours for $9.96. All right, we got Special Ops Lioness. That was a great show. I highly recommend that you guys watch it. We got The Puppet Man. What's this? <laughs> this is a brand new Shudder original, The Puppet Man, strung along from hell. <laughs> what a great tagline. Nice slip cover on that one. But I think this is the tacky Walmart title of the week. We have Alice in Terrorland. Oh, where's the tagline? There's no tagline? Look at that. <laughs> if that's not terrifying, I don't know what is. And we have this. Is, are there any stars in this movie? I don't think so. I don't think there's any stars in this movie. But the slipcover is intriguing, I guess. I don't know. You got like the bloody teapot down there and the flowers are all wilting and She's covered in blood. So yeah, Alice in Terrorland is definitely the uh, the tacky Walmart title of the week. And that one is $9.96 as well. So you can definitely pick that one up. We also have Contagion of Fear. Nothing spreads faster than panic. <laughs> Who creates these? That's what I want to know. Fortunes of War. We also have Fortunes of War. Any stars in this movie? Who are these people? Do I recognize these people? I don't know. Who's in this movie? James Oliver, James Oliver Wheatley, Bob Cryer. Yeah, I don't recognize anyone. Okay, so Fortunes of Fear. Nice slip on that one. 996. You have a plane on fire that's gonna crash. You got guns. I mean, what's not to love about this one? All right, we'll put that one back. I'm not gonna go for that one. They do have the Pet Cemetery 2 movie collection, uh, Pet Cemetery Bloodlines, and then the remake. That one is back in stock. We have the Marsh King's Daughter still here. Ooh, there's another one. Into the Abyss. Let's check out this one. This one's $12.96. They came from the sky. We weren't ready. That's it. We just weren't ready. Look at that thing. Look at that creature. That's probably 
very, very bad looking on screen. The sun will turn into darkness and the moon into blood. Well, there you go. All right. Walmart definitely stepping up with their tacky, their tacky titles. I will say that. They also have Far Haven. What happens later is still here. Among Wolves, On Fire. Oh, there's Megalodon the Frenzy without the slip. See, I should have I should have gotten it with the slip cover and I just didn't do it. I don't know why I didn't. The Ghost Station, dead on arrival. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are just cracking me up. I could stand here all day and look at these. The Dirty South. What's that one? War Blade. Monster NATO still here. It's good to know that not a lot has changed when it comes to Walmart titles. <laughs> Pretty much all, all the same. Justified, Titans, the Greek Wedding, Triple Pack, Mobland, Three Days in Malay. That's all the same. All right, Christmas is over. Get rid of the Christmas titles. I like the movie, but Christmas is over. All right, I think that's it. That's pretty much it. These are all the titles that have been here. The Good Mother, It Lives Inside, Dumb Money. You can stream those. The Boogeyman. You can find it cheaper online. All right, I think this is it for Walmart. I'm going to scan around, but unless I see something that really jumps out at me, then we're leaving. And you know what? I think I will pop into Target. Okay, so before I leave, I came across this other display on the inside of the store. And look what's over here. The Expendables 1 through 4 Steelbook. That was $70. It is marked down to $52.50. Hmm. I'm seriously considering picking this up. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the lowest price that I've seen so far. You probably can get it cheaper on eBay, but I just don't buy off of eBay. It's just never been my thing. Maybe it should be. You guys are probably going to yell at me down in the comments, but I think I'm going to get, I mean, I have to get this steel book. It's one of the best steel books from last year that came out. It's just so amazing looking. Yes, I do have all four of the movies already. But that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter because the sickness is real and it's all about collecting and artwork and I didn't pick this up and it's fifty-two fifty. Oh my gosh. Choices, choices. You probably know what I'm going to do. It's in my hand. Okay. <laughs> but I'm so happy I came down this aisle because if I didn't, I would have missed out on that. But this is all a bunch of like Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse DVDs. Like why do we have... 10,000 copies of that DVD in this store. It makes no sense. It's so random. Like they have all these like older titles over here, like Hangover Part 3 and Troy and the sequel to 300, all on DVD in this random spot. And then you have the Expendables Steelbook on sale. I have no idea. This is Walmart. <laughs> this is Walmart. This is why we don't ask any questions. And then they have the James Bond Blu-ray box set for $79.96. And then, of course, you know my favorite, Frasier. Yes, I'm being sarcastic when I say that. I don't like Frasier. They have Dolomite, the total experience. What? Hold on. <laughs> I, I gotta pick this up. I gotta show this off to you people. Anyone interested in Dolomite... The total experience, the complete collection. Was that one, two, three, four, eight? There's an eight movie set. That's crazy. Walmart is surprising me today because whoever thought I'd come into Walmart today and find Dolomite, the total experience, eight movies for twenty four ninety six. So. If you guys are interested in this go to your walmart and see if you can find it i mean it's on dvd but if you're a fan i think this is the best you're gonna get <laughs> honestly i don't think uh blu-rays in the cards so you might want to pick that up so that's an interesting find all right so we got some stuff going on <laughs> okay walmart's kind of delivering a little bit 
All right, here we go. We're going into Target. We're going into Target. So I have not been to Target in probably at least six months. So this display is completely different than what I used to show you guys. This is all music now, albums, CDs, at least in the front. And I got scared for a second, but here's the movies right here. At least we have one whole side dedicated to movies. So up at the top, they do have the Hunger Games, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, but I really want the Steelbook. So I'm gonna have to order that through Walmart online. They do have this though, the Target exclusive Blu-ray with the slipcover. Actually, it's kind of plain looking. I'm not really impressed by this, I gotta be honest. It's a little bit just plain and boring. So I definitely want that Steelbook. Now the reason I came here was for Priscilla, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. I kind of already scanned everything. They do have the DVD of the Marvels. Because, you know, everyone wants the DVD of the Marvels. Um, <laughs> they have Exorcist Believer, Pet Cemetery Bloodlines, Holdovers, Trolls Band Together, a ton of Trolls Band Together, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, Equalizer 3, The Meg 2, tons of The Meg 2, Dumb Money, Color Purple, Little Mermaid, Gran Turismo. So they do have some physical media items, but just not what I was looking for today. So I struck out, at least with the two items that I wanted. So I'm gonna have to order those online, no surprise there. But I did go to the post office and I did pick up a box of subscriber mail. So let's head back to the house. I'm gonna open that in front of you guys to show you what I got. And I think some packages might have come in and I did pick up one item. So I'm gonna show you everything back at the house. So let's go do that. It's been a while since I said this, but back at home, it's time for me to show you what I got when I went out today. So I did bring home one item from Walmart. You obviously already know what it is, but I am gonna show you anyway. Also a package from Walmart was delivered. And on top of that, I did go to the post office earlier today and I did pick up a package from Jesse. And I'm super excited to open up this package because Jesse always sends me great stuff. He knows what I need for my collection and I'm just really excited. I'm excited for everything, so let's get started. What did I pick up from Walmart? You know what it is. I pretty much said it in the video already. I made it extremely obvious, but it is. The Expendables 1 through 4 4K Steelbook from Lionsgate. First of all, I needed this. The cover artwork is absolutely fantastic. This Steelbook came out last year. If I had picked up this Steelbook last year, this definitely probably would have been my number one choice for Steelbook of the Year. Well, Sleepy Hollow is still pretty awesome, but it would have been high on the list. But because I did not pick up the Steelbook, it wasn't in my top 10 of the year and I regretted not picking it up, but I'm happy I waited because as you can see, it's been discounted to what? $52.50. It's not the best discount. It's not the most overwhelming like, oh my God, you absolutely need a discount, but it's $17 cheaper than it was. So I will take it. Plus it's another Lionsgate Steelbook for my ever-growing collection. So I absolutely needed this one. I figure I'm not picking anything else up today, so I might as well get this. And I did, I'm so happy that it was there. All right, so now I'll save Jesse for last. Now we're talking about Walmart, delivery from Walmart. What did Walmart deliver to me today? All right. <laughs> no, it looks like, it looks like Jaws bit this open. <laughs> like, look at this thing. All right, so what were the brand new releases today? Beverly Hills Cop Part 3 on 4K and Dark Man 4K. Those were the main brand new releases. So you can probably guess what's inside of this package, this very torn open package. And I see a slip cover. There's a slip cover in there. That's exactly what I want to say. All right, here we go. Let's start with that slip, shall we? Here we go. I hate these packages. 
You cannot slide anything in and out very easily with these stupid wall. Why don't they just use boxes? What's wrong with boxes? Anyway, <laughs> I'm rambling, I know. But here we go. Beverly Hills Cap, part three, 4K. I like this slip. I like it a lot. I like the design of the slip cover. And upon examination, this slip cover is looking pretty good. In fact, it looks pretty much perfect. So good job, Walmart. Even though it's in a crappy package, it still came in perfect. And that's what I want to see. All right. If it's going to be like this, I'm going to be a very, very happy physical media collector. But I am looking forward to watching this film. I've never seen it. So this will be a first time watch for me. So I am looking forward to doing so. I really do like that design of the slip. Okay. I think that design of the slip is the best one out of the three. And same package. It's always backwards. <laughs> there we go. Dark Man, the Dark Man 4K Steelbook. This was not going to be in store. I already knew that. That's why I placed my order. There was no way this was going to be in Walmart today. I can't even get the Hunger Games steelbook. Do you think Dark Man steelbook is going to be in, wa in my Walmart? No, of course it's not. So happy to have this one. I like the design of the steelbook. It's looking pretty cool. You guys can see that. See it? See it? It's hard to with the ring light and everything, but I like it. So looking forward to revisiting this one. I have seen it one time, but looking forward to that 4K upgrade so we can contrast and compare that went flying over to my sneakers okay last package jesse this is from jesse he contacted me on instagram he private messaged me let me know something was sitting there and i was like Whoop. i got really excited because like i mentioned he always sends me great stuff i pre-opened the package because i don't like to mess around you guys already know this so here is said package. There we go. I'm not showing the other side because there's my address. All right. Package very well, of course. As Jesse does. There we go. So that can go. That can go. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. We have nice wrapping in here. Open last. Well, now I'm intrigued. And I really want to open this first, but I'm not. I'm going to obey Jesse and open this last. Okay. That is last. What is this? <laughs> I don't know what it is. We're going to have to open it and find out. What is this? Oh, it's Nicolas Cage. It's a pin. Oh my God. It is a gone in 60 seconds pin. How awesome is that? <laughs> Nicolas Cage, man. He... Jesse has supplied me with a lot of Nicolas Cage titles. So I really do have to shout him up, shout him up, shout him out for hooking me up. There we go. That makes a lot more sense. Jesse has been hooking me up with Nicolas Cage, not in real life, with movies. So I really do appreciate it. There we go. But a pin. I should wear it in the video. I should have it like right here. Could you imagine? I'm definitely going to have, I'm, I should wear this when I do my Nicolas Cage update video for his collection and have it right here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm cracking myself up, visualizing myself wearing this pin. <laughs> I love him that much. Now, if you can find me a Sam Rockwell pin, just like this, I could wear both like this. I love them both. And then Jason Statham and Sly Stallone. I'll have all of them like around my neck. It'll be a, like a necklace. Okay. But that is awesome. Thank you. I, I love that. <laughs> I'm not laughing at that. I'm literally cracking myself up because I have to sometimes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh, nice Valentine's Day paper with the hearts. And I think I see a note. There we go. And that is it. Okay, so let me put that box aside. The note says, after this, you will need to do a certain update video. Like I just mentioned. Your fan and movie lover, Jesse. 
Thank you, Jesse. Thank you again. Yes, I know. I really do have to do an updated Nicolas Cage collection video because ever since I filmed the original video, I have received and I've also picked up for myself tons of more titles because Nicolas Cage has over 100 credits in his filmography. It's insane. And I have a really large collection and it's still growing. And I'm sensing that this is going to be a part of that updated video. So, all right, what is in here? Ooh, I'm excited. We got a couple of DVDs. Ooh, okay. Jesse is adding post-its to let me know what's going on. So we have, I'll remove that later. <gasps> there he is. Oh my God, he's so young, Nicolas Cage. This is a Nicolas Cage title called Rumblefish. And I'm assuming that the main star is Matt Dillon. Mickey Rourke is also, hey, I'll take it. Young, handsome Mickey Rourke, I'll take any day. Mickey Rourke. Diane Lane is in here. Oh, that's awesome. She's probably so young. Dennis Hopper and The Cage. This is awesome, Jesse. Thank you so much. This is insane. And it's got the nice, like, hard, stiff DVD. Not to be gross or anything, but a nice, hard, stiff DVD case. Not flimsy, you know? All right, we have another DVD. Ooh, we have Shine. I have heard of this movie. That's right. Jeffrey Rush won Best Actor for this performance for uh, the Academy Awards. So, yes. Awesome. I've never seen this. So, this is a never seen it. This is adding into my Oscar Academy Award nominee and winning collection. So, that's incredible. Thank you so much. And the last of the Valentine love bag that we have... Okay, the post-it says, look under the slipcover. Okay, so here's a little story really quickly. So when I went to Big Lots to see if Roxanne was in stock, because I saw other people posting on social media that they went to Big Lots and they found Roxanne with the retro VHS slipcover. And that's why I went there to see if it was there. I went to my store. I picked up Roxanne. It did not have that slipcover Jesse sent it to me <laughs> because Jesse messaged me to ask me if I picked up Roxanne. And I said I did, but there was no slipcover on it. And then obviously he probably watched my video and saw that there was no slipcover. So very, very nice. Oh, look at what's under the slipcover. This is awesome. Okay. So he sent me the slipcover, which is so great because I needed it. And then... He sent me out of Africa on top of that. That's amazing. I've never seen this movie. And I always need more Meryl for my Meryl Streep collection. So that's fantastic. Brand new. Love that. Robert Redford, Meryl Streep, out of Africa. That's awesome. Did this win any Academy Awards? I'm going to have to look that up. I'm going to have to see. That's incredible. Jesse, if you just sent this. No, wait because I need the pen. <laughs> I always need the pen. I need the pen. But if you just sent this, this would have been incredible. But he's just like, really, what is, what is this? What is in here then? What could possibly be in here? I'm going to find out right now. But this is incredible. Thank you for the slip and out of it. I was actually thinking about picking up out of Africa at some point. So now I don't have to. That's amazing. All right. Now we got to open this. What is in here? Because, because to me, I mean, to me, this is the best, you know, like this pin right here, this is the best, but you know, Jesse doesn't stop there. Okay. Let me rip this open if I can. Oh, I'm just, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm always excited about it. Okay. There we go. I'm excited about everything. All right. Open last. What is in here? What is in here? The tension is building. What is in here? What's in here? Oh my God. What's in here? Oh my gosh. You did not have to do this because I picked this up from Vinegar Syndrome. Jesse, no. 
Red Rock West. You guys know, I think I, yeah, I showed you guys. I picked up from Vinegar Syndrome. I did that unboxing. I picked up Little Darlings and also Red Rock West. What a tongue twister. But it's got Nicolas Cage. And that's the reason why I picked it up because with Vinegar Syndrome, I'm very selective with my titles now and it's got the cage. So I knew I had to have it. And then Little Darlings, that's nostalgia for me. I remember that movie from way back in the day. So I knew I wanted those two movies, but you did not have to do this. This is from Umbrella Entertainment, brand new in the plastic. I may just keep this wrapped up. There's no reason for me to open this up because I'm keeping it wrapped because I already opened up the Vinegar Syndrome one. I watched it. It looks great. It was a great movie. I really enjoyed it, but think this is going to be like a collector's piece for me in my collection. Jesse, thank you. You did not have to do this at all. That is incredible. Wow. This is all about the cage and I love it. Sam Rockwell's next. No, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> don't, don't do that. No, this is so incredible. Thank you. This is amazing. Look, slip cover, cage, Academy Award winning, more cage and a pin. Come on, Jesse. This is way too much. This is way, you're way too generous to me. This is incredible. <sighs> I'm overwhelmed, guys. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. Speaking of overwhelmed, I will be doing a separate Blu-ray collection video tomorrow or the next day. I am expecting a couple of more packages to come in. So if I do not upload, if I do not upload that video tomorrow, it will be up probably Thursday or Friday, just depending. So there will be another collection video update coming shortly, but wow, this is absolutely amazing. I had a great day. It was wonderful to be back at Walmart. You know, I think once a month is, is a good space in between. However, I'm going to go there probably in a couple of weeks to see what's going on with those steel books. Are we going to have a steel book section at my Walmart? Cross your fingers that it's going to happen. But that's it guys. That is everything that I picked up and was gifted today and was delivered. Thank you so much for watching this video. Comment down below and let me know if you went out there, what did you find today? Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time.